Hi, it's Russ from Production Expert. I want to talk about using apps that aren't made for iPads on iPads. And there are several things I want to do quite often from my iPad because it's easy to reach. And they're difficult to do uh, because I have to use the web apps or they get hidden behind other applications on screen. So, for example, changing the settings on my Apogee Ensemble interface it doesn't have an iOS version so I have to use uh, this version of it here and I want to go in sometimes and I want to set up my mixer routing and things like that uh, from in here and it's not always possible to do that when I've got things like Pro Tools or Studio One in front of it the other one that I want to do a lot of uh, editing on often is my 11 rack editor and here it is on the screen at the moment now I do things like choose the tuner and I do things like come out of the tuner and I'll go in and choose another setting from the user settings here and I might want to go in and, and change a setting on one of these units what happens inevitably is because the screens don't come to the front and they don't stick to the front sometimes because they're not plugins in the conventional sense they're applications being used uh, with things like Pro Tools or Studio One, then it can become frustrating. So I'm using Duet for the Mac. I think it's for Windows as well. And it means that now I've got on my, this is my iPad Pro. On it, I've got this ability to come in here and either use my mouse like that in a conventional sense uh, there on the screen, or I can, as I say, use them uh, like a web, like a, an iPad app. So uh, Duet is created by an ex-Mac Apple engineer and I think it's really cool it's it's not expensive and it then enables you to have things like this I've now got three screens I've gone from one screen to three screens so I have two monitors running my conventional software and what I often do is put all my kind of things I need to get hand to very quickly such as to say my ensemble Thunderbolt interface or my 11 rack editor there at two hand on my uh, iPad. So what do I think? I think for somebody who's looking for extra screen real estate, who has an iPad uh, sitting around, maybe doing other things, but but often is doing nothing, then this is a great way, especially for plugins, for those apps, as I say, like controllers, audio interfaces, and the 11 rack editor, all that kind of stuff. It's a great way to have those. Either just control them by a mouse on a separate screen, or you could even use, say, touch if you wish.